Okay, I'll start out by mentioning that if you want to define a function, a fraction with this forward slash symbol, you need to put parentheses around the terms in the numerator and the denominator. Otherwise, this could be interpreted as 182 divided by 1 plus 13, blah, blah, blah. Okay, just an aside. Uh, this is actually what, this is the graph of that function, the logistic function. Uh, the graph will never reach 182. It'll get closer and closer to it as t gets larger and larger, but it'll never hit it. Uh, the reason is, if you picture it written this way, as t gets bigger and bigger, this denominator gets bigger and bigger. And so this term approaches zero, although it will never get to zero. Uh, no, it doesn't approach. The denominator approaches yeah, <laughs> that term approaches zero, so 182 is the limit of this function as t approaches infinity. <clears throat> now, how many deer were initially introduced to the island? If we put zero in for t, this factor in the denominator is 1 because e to the 0 is 1. 1 plus 13 is 14. So 13 deer were initially introduced into the population. Now, two years later, we want to find a of 2. So we put 2 in for t. And 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1. 182 over 1 plus 13 over e. That's this number right here. Nearest whole number, 31 deer. And then a couple months, there'll be actually 32 deer. Now for part C, we want to know how long it will take for there to become 50 deer in the population. So we want to know what time T will give us this 50. Uh, and we're going to round that off to the nearest year. Okay, so here's how you do it algebraically. We're going to put 50 in for the amount of deer and try to solve for t. So multiply both sides by this denominator. And we get a picture distributing the 50 times each term. 50 plus 650e to the negative 1 half t equals 182. Subtract 50 from both sides, divide by 650, and this is 132, 650 is reduced. Now, how do you solve for t? You take the natural log of both sides, and you can't picture that. Picture ln of both sides. We apply the property of logarithms and move this negative one-half t down front, power rule for logarithms. ln of e is just 1. So to get t by itself, we multiply both sides by negative 2. Okay, you can do that on the calculator. If you want to, you can picture moving this exponent or this negative 2 up front as an exponent. And then if you want to turn that exponent positive, you take the reciprocal of the base. So that would be 325 over 66. And there's your answer that we got from this graph. Okay, so it looks like three years that it will take for the population to reach 50. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, uh, post a comment. Oh.